Welcome back to Star Sector, folks. In the last one, we got ourselves a brand new battleship, and it's a beauty. We just, in the last one, did a like 200 and something thousand uh, bounty with absolutely no trouble whatsoever. Uh, probably also because they, I played it a little bit badly. But it is what it is. We got a lot of money, and then we spent a lot of money on uh, paying off what we got from... Uh, from Odin Station, we got a lot of supplies and fuels and stuff. So, yeah, but still a very nice profit. And we do have some level ups, so let's have a look at those. We have a level up for you. Ordnance expertise. We have a level up for you. Target analysis or power grid modulation. Power grid modulation. Uh, you are maxed. You don't have a level up. You don't have a level up. You have a level up. And you get combat endurance. Okay. Very good. We also have a character point for ourselves. And... I think we'll... Take this up to two and then to three and then start working on something else. Yeah. Alright. Now we are heading in here to find uh, Reese Pocket and take her out. Or him, I am not really sure. Probably her. And. Yeah, and we barely dodged a very nasty... Uh, a very nasty uh, remnant auto on the way here. Which would have been a disaster, because it was big. Uh, is this not... She's supposed to be in here, uh, rocking in, in the gamut. She's rumored to be hiding out near a rocky metallic world in the Gamma Carinae Nebula. And we are in the Gamma Carinae Nebula. So, are there more than one rocky world in here? Rocky metallic world. See any other? Oh, yeah, there's one there. Uh, I guess we're heading down there. Again, a lot of fighters. Just two herons. A couple of copperheads, which are also combat carriers. Then we have rovers. Constellation. And she has a lot of carriers. Okay. Well, we'll move into engage blockade runner plus twenty five percent speed boost. At zero flux, skilled engineer plus twenty one percent repair rate. We're not targeting unit. That's good. Robust. Not good. Flow charge arrows. Good. Rapid shield emitter. Not good. Powerful engines. Not good. Well, we're moving in. We are moving in. I have 50 points left. I want this Anastri in there. I guess it'll be like that. 
And that makes it a four star battle again. But we've had that before and it worked out fine. Uh, let's see you support that, you support that. Oh, and you, you and you, head up here. Okay. Launcher on auto fire. I want to get in front here. All right, red arrow disabled. Coming in here, nothing much. Well, here comes something. Uh, let's put a strike on you. Why is our timid guy out front? Down. There we go. That's one carry down. There's one big ship. Take them down one at a time, I guess. Or I would very much like you to move back because you are timid and you're not supposed to be in the front line. Um, off our backs. Right, that's down. That's down. Let's try to do This is going well. that I feel like I need to deploy anything. Uh, you target that. Actually, search and destroy. Oh, there's a condor going down. Taking it 
bit of a beating. But I think we're okay. Tell this in mastery to search and destroy. What's back there? Can you please just target that? things. You retreat. you to target that. You target that. You're retreating. Yep, this thing is overloaded. Overloaded. Dang it. Uh, escort that. Trouble. 
out of range. Class disabled. The enemy is defeated. Claim victory. Uh, we took out the main ships, so that's good. We are going to pursue the remainder, though. We'll do it with that, 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 and that. completely destroyed we didn't lose anything now structural damage I can live with that uh, so one large missile one large energy one medium missile three medium energy six small energy four fighter bays I'll take that and then we have this combat carrier structural damage Small missile, medium missile, medium energy, three small energy, two fighter bays only. Increased maintenance, no. Increased maintenance, no. I think I'll just recover this King Cobra class cruise liner explorer. Through the wreckage, take everything. And that means we need to head back because we need more crew. Uh, so, what we're gonna do is we're gonna mothball this. And then we'll head back and get it fixed up so that we have that as part of our lineup. Now. We'll take everything. That takes us almost to our cargo limit. That takes us over. Okay, uh, where is there a jump point? There. That's far away, but we don't have a choice because we have a mothballed ship. We do have a character point, so let's get that up. Gives us 15% faster fighter replacements, which we're gonna want. So many clouds. That takes us to 553,000. So we could upgrade you. Or upgrade you. Upgrade you to a mega port. Upgrade. this or anything right now. Okay. We do just to save. Have to remember there's a big and nasty remnant auto out there. That's not the one. That's nasty enough. But something that we could take. Um, let's see, we want to head home.
have to be ready to get the heck out of Dodge if that Remnant Auto shows up. here where it's not so dense. Alrighty. Why are we still at 17? Um, it might be on Mothball ship maybe. I thought we were at 18. I want to be at 18. Storing up. And let's store some of these just because I want them in case. Uh, well, for uh, emergencies. So that we'll have them. So we'll do that. We'll restore stockpile those. And we will restore stockpile those. We will unmothball you. And we'll refit you. Four fighter bays, that's kind of nice. Death rattle support fighter, one PD laser, one flak cannon. Okay. Venom interceptor, swarmer, SRM launchers, two mining lasers. We'll take that out. We're actually going to strip you. Uh, surveying equipment, oh, that's pretty nice. Structural damage, that's not so nice, but you uh, need an augmented drive field, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Watch your. Okay. 13,000 hull integrity. Originally, you only have 10,000 from 16, so it's pretty big. Pretty big ship. All right, you have 269 ordnance points. What do we want for fighters or bombers? Heavy Wancer. What? What's a Wancer? Uh, one micro virtual, one gray blowtorch. Hmm. Splinter fighters sound sound quite nice. Too expensive. Let's get a splinter fighter in there. I think we'll do this. That's a lot of ordnance points already used. Uh, let's see, what do we have? Large missile, medium missile, medium energy, large energy. Well, back here is PD, right? So, first PD, first PD. Uh, 
first PD. First PD. First PD. First PD. Large energy. I really want some range on this thing. Seven hundred isn't a lot of range. Neither is nine hundred for that matter, but it's better than seven. But it's not even because the corrosive thing, yeah, that can go up here. You know what? We'll do the plasma cannon up here. And I think we'll do something like that. Medium energy. Large missile. Why not? Medium missile. That leaves us with not that much left. Hmm. Took some flash bombers instead. Gives us some. Tornado Hornet Launcher. Or a Typhoon Reaper Launcher. Typhoon MRM Pod is what we're going with. It gives us another 15. Okay, that's better. I think we'll go with that. I think we'll go with that. Um, now, I want you who needs to level up. Take that. You have a level up. That's countermeasures. You have a level up. Power grid modulation for sure. For an aggressive guy. All right. Uh, well, cancel. Don't want to scuttle anything. Here, we need resource stockpile. We need some food. Well, supplies. We need to fill up on fuel and we need some crew.
It's 111,000. That's expensive, but we'll do it. And next time we'll uh, either go exploring or find some more bounties or... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Actually, how many... How much crew could this guy carry? Maximum crew, 1,000. So that's actually quite nice. And that's actually quite nice. And it's a good looking ship. I like it. I like it. It's a good addition to our fleet, I think. But anyway, next time we'll figure out what we're going to do. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.